Hello and welcome to Study IQ. This video will be in English language. In this video, I will bring to you the best multiple choice questions from the first week of October. Now, in first week of October, I have covered one hundred and thirty-three questions. Usually, in a video, I cover in a weekly video, I cover eighty to ninety questions. But this video has one hundred thirty-three questions because I don't want to take any chance in IBPSPO. Recently, SBIPO, as I uh, showed to you and told you in my previous video. that in sbipo we have had more than 45 selections that is the final convert also uh, with one of the candidate i prepared a video on how to prepare uh, also in bank of baroda exam uh, lot of uh, selections lot of people have cleared their uh, written exam and sent me testimonials i have shared them on my facebook page so in ibpspo i want that not even a single question should be uh, outside my video that is why i am including lot of questions i am covering every blade of the grass so this video will have questions from 1st to 7th of october and there are lot of questions because uh, there are lot of diplomatic uh, happenings taking place there are lot of uh, important days in the in october lot of festive days also and uh, there is a there are pdfs also which are available if you want to download the pdf you can Uh, you can have the google drive link on my facebook page or you can go to our website studyiq.in all the pdfs in hindi as well as in english are uploaded there studyiq.in when you visit our website you will see a button called downloads click on downloads and rest you will easily see uh, you can follow me on facebook now more than 15000 people are following me on facebook and they are benefiting uh, also i share lot of info important information debates you know uh, material sometimes sometimes articles which will enhance your knowledge so if you want all that you can uh, follow me on facebook otherwise keep following us on youtube we have launched the pen drive for hotel management and bba uh, we are launching a pen drive for nda on 1st of november and for clat on 10th of november please note that in clat the legal part will be prepared by a very renowned teacher his name is ayush sanghi ayush sanghi he is a very renowned teacher in delhi for upsc clat he is a lawyer himself and who better to prepare the material than a lawyer himself so he will teach legal aptitude and legal reasoning in the pen drive i will prepare uh, english and uh, gk and mr abhishek jain will prepare maths and aptitude so you have all the best teachers who will prepare this this pen drive will be available uh, you can pre book the pen drive and get a 20% discount Uh, but we will deliver it only after 10th of november but if you can want to pre book you can get a 20% discount so you need to call this number 9716523859 also the pen drive for ibpsps ibpspo clerk and uh, um, and po both are selling right now ssc chsl pen drive we have launched it yesterday uh, for police hotel management bba any pen drive if you wish to buy you need to call this number 9716523859 or you can email gaurav.studyiq@gmail.com So without further ado, let me begin. As I said, the quality of questions is very, very uh, good. Also, um, the both the quantity is also good this time. So first question is on October the second, India celebrated Lal Bahadur Shastri's which birth anniversary? On October second, we celebrate the birth anniversary of two great people. One is the the former Prime Minister of India, Lal Bahadur Shastri, and second is Mahatma Gandhi, father of the nation. So on October second, we have both of their birthday. and lal bahadur shastri was born in 1904 second october therefore it was his 112th birth anniversary 112th birth anniversary lal bahadur shastri what is the theme of 2016 international translation day translation is something that uh, breaks the language barriers that ac exist across the globe and the theme for this year was translation and interpreting connecting worlds so because translation truly connects our worlds and uh, please note that international translation day it is celebrated every year on 30th of september 30th of september who has been appointed as the new chairman of the press trust of india uh, this is a public sector appointment and therefore it is extremely important press trust of india former chairman was harm suzi kama harm suzi kama but now after her it is riyad mathew and who is riyad mathew you should know that also he is director of a popular general called malayala manorama he is director of malayala manorama 
and he is now the new chairman of press trust of india he succeeded harmasuzi kama which person has been appointed as the new director of nehru memorial museum and library nehru memorial museum and library first question for you for today during the course of the video i will ask you five to six questions and you have to write the answers where is nehru memorial museum and library in which part in which state or city of india do we have uh, nehru memorial museum by the way a person who is in charge of the museum in english we call him curator curator of the museum so who has been appointed as a new director of nehru memorial museum he is a retired ias officer his name is shakti sinha shakti sinha annu rani she was recently in news because she became the first indian woman to cross 60 meter in which throw so what did she actually throw a javelin hammer shot put or discus and she crossed the barrier of 60 meter she broke her own national record it is a national record of india and she broke her own record to clock 60 meter she is popular javelin thrower so the answer is javelin throw and she achieved this feat at 56th open national athletics championship national athletics championship 56th uh, which took place in lucknow uttar pradesh please note that all this information which i give you extra constitutes 30% of the mcqs that are asked in exam so don't underestimate the extra information which i give you along with the video which state has topped the list of endemic flowering plants in india maximum flowering plants in india which state has topped the list of endemic endemic means which are only present in that area that is called endemic so it is tamil nadu this survey was done by botanical uh, botanical survey of india um, and it was titled endemic vascular plants of india so tamil nadu has around 410 endemic flowering plants whereas kerala is second kerala has 357 and third is maharashtra which has 278 species of flowering plants which is the only which is the newly uh, elected president of indian newspaper society so who is the newly elected president of indian newspaper society and he is associated with rashtradoot saptahik saptahik means weekly rashtradoot weekly his name is mr somesh sharma he is the president or new president of indian newspaper society for 2016 17 and he has succeeded mr p v chandran mr p v chandran abhaneri festival it has started in which state of india abhaneri festival so abhaneri is a name of a village and this village is in dosa dosa is a district in rajasthan so the answer is rajasthan uh, this festival was started from 1st october and it is a two day festival which is basically to promote rural tourism rural tourism what is the theme of 2016 united nations international day of older persons very very important so there are lot of issues related to older person like disease like uh, you know emotional problems uh, rehabilitation because a lot of older people they are uh, they are uh, you know thrown out by their families etc there are lot of issues related to older people for that united nations an organization no less than united nations celebrate international day of older person it is celebrated every year on 1st of october this is extremely important and what was the theme this year so the theme was take a stand against ageism take a stand against ageism by the way we have a word for it called gerontology gerontology means study of old age so recently there was a typhoon called chaba what is a typhoon so cyclone we call typhoon in asia in lot of countries like japan china uh, taiwan etc it is called a typhoon so there was a typhoon and these cyclones they have a lot of wind speed they are very very uh, you know disastrous for uh, animals man their homes so recently there was a typhoon called chaba it is associated with which country so this chaba it struck south korea and japan so south korea is not in options but japan is there in the options and let me tell you it is a cyclone with, whose speed is 290 km per hour so 290 km per hour it is associated with japan and south korea which indian american professor which indian american professor has been named as the 2016 class of the jerjer future leaders of audiology by the american academy of audiology also called aaa american academy of audiology which american indian american professor indian born american professor his name is dr vinaya manchaiya dr vinaya manchaiya 
and he is a professor at the Lamar University. An American Academy of Audiology is the world's largest organization for audiologists. Who has been appointed as the full-time member of 21st Law Commission of India. This is very very important. Uh, this person is a professor at the Indian Law Institute in New Delhi. His name is Professor Shiva Kumar. Professor Shiva Kumar. And 21st Law Commission, it was constituted by the Government of India for a period of three years from September 1st, 2015 to August 31st, 2018. Three years. And uh, this is very very important. The World Vegetarian Day is observed on which date? So uh, this is to promote vegetarianism around the globe because if uh, people become vegetarian, it will reduce the carbon dioxide footprint. It will make the environment better. This is a report by the World Health Organization that to raise animals, it requires a lot of greenhouse gases because they give out a lot of greenhouse gases. So a lot of greenhouse gases are created, which is disastrous for the environment. So a vegetarian world will be a better world and World Vegetarian Day is to promote vegetarianism it is celebrated on october the first october the first who has won the 2016 malaysia grand prix so this question is important because the usual people who win these formula one uh, races car race nico rosberg lewis hamilton they did not win this time malaysian grand prix was won by daniel ricciardo by the way daniel ricciardo is from australia and this is extra information which is very very important this guy is from Australia and he drives the car Red Bull. He drives the car Red Bull. And uh, Nico Rosberg, you know it, he is a German and he drives uh, Mercedes. Whereas Lewis Hamilton is from Britain, he also drives Mercedes. And Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton are, a, are the best partnership right now. They One of them always wins. But this time Daniel Ricciardo won. And Felipe Massa, he is retired. Just now he is retired. Felipe Massa. The World Animal Day is observed on which day? World Animal Day. It is basically to raise the status of animals in our society, to spread awareness, encourage pets, you know, and to be compassionate towards animal. It is celebrated on October the 4th. October the 4th. So you can see a lot of questions from important days are there in this edition. Which state has become the first Indian state to implement direct benefit transfer in kerosene? Direct benefit transfer in kerosene. Uh, do you remember there was a scheme called Pahel last year which uh, entered into Guinness World Record? It was called Pratyaksh Hastantrit Lab. In other words, direct benefit transfer. In Hindi, it is called Pratyaksh Hastantrit Lab. In short, Pahel scheme. Pahel scheme was for LPG gas. Okay, We use isobutane as LPG gas in India. Uh, so, LPG gas. Uh, and uh, it was hugely successful because uh, we linked it to Aadhaar. And lot of people who were taking unfair subsidies, they uh, you know uh, the government was able to save lot of money. So buy and buy that, bullied by that, uh, the government became hopeful that this similar strategy can be done with kerosene also. So uh, the first Indian state to implement DBT for kerosene is Jharkhand. And Jharkhand is also the first state to implement Uday scheme, which is Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana, which was basically to reinvigorate our uh, you know, power sector, power distribution companies, which are called Discom. The first ever BRICS trade fair will be held in which city of India? So it is about to start and it will be from 12th to 14th of October. And you know that trade fair, if you are from Delhi or nearby, you would know that a very popular India international trade fair happens at Pargati Maidan on 40, from 14th of November to 28th of November every year for two weeks. And this time also BRICS trade fair was only for five countries, whereas India international trade fair is for a lot of countries. BRICS trade fair was also held at, will be held at Pargati Maidan in New Delhi. So the answer is New Delhi and the companies from five, five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa will take part in it. Which Indian origin personality has won the 2016 Google fair, Google science fair. So uh, this person is a, a teen, teenager, only 16 year old and she is from South Africa. She was born in India, Indian origin, but South Africa. Her name is Kiera Nirgin. She has been awarded $50,000 scholarship by Google because she won the Google Science Fair, which happened in United States of America. So basically, uh, she used uh, orange peels to develop a cheaper super absorbent material to help retain water in the soil, which can potentially be a game changer for farmers. Who has become the brand ambassador of Kerala's Harita Keralam? 
Harita Kerala means green Kerala. Harita means green Kerala means Kerala. So green Kerala. Green Kerala project, environmental project, which famous uh, person has become the brand ambassador. By the way, there is a, my video also on brand ambassador. Do check that video out. The name is Dr. K.J. Yesudas, who is a renowned singer, vocalist and playback singer. So he, is the, um, he is the brand ambassador for Harita Kerala. Which committee has been constituted by the central government to examine the causes of vacant seats in IITs and NITs? Indian Institute of Technology and National Institute of Technology. You will not believe that this year 3000 seats are vacant. 3000 seats are vacant in IITs and NITs combined after six rounds of counseling, joint counseling. So the reason is, there are many reasons for that. Increase in fees and I mean there are a lot of reasons for that. And to find the reasons, more reasons, actual reasons, there is a committee which has been set up because the seats even in IITs and NITs are not filling up. 3000 seats are vacant which is not a small number at all. So now to be associated with IITs is not more a matter of pride because the students are giving up their seats in IIT. The reason is there are too many IITs and too many NITs and a lot of them are in the pipeline. So there is a committee which is called PP Chakrabarti committee. The role of this committee will be to find out why the students are not joining IITs and NITs and it's a three member committee which is headed by the director of IIT Khadakpur. His name is Partha Pratim Chakrabarti. So PP Chakrabarti is actually the director of IIT Khadakpur. There is a look at the option first, TSR Subramaniam Committee. This is a committee basically to, you know, check uh, to devise a new education policy. Basically, the quality of education in India is such that you can get degree, but you cannot get jobs. And therefore, a committee needed to be set up to find out the reason and to, uh, you know, have a 360 degree plan to completely overhaul, to completely overhaul the education system in India. Therefore, TSR Subramaniam Committee was set up for the same. Who has been awarded the 2016 John F. Richards Prize? It's a very, very prestigious prize and therefore this question is extremely important. This is given to Mr. Nayan Jyot Lahiri. He's a professor. Nayan Jyot Lahiri. Why? Because he has written a book on Ashoka. Ashoka was a emperor from the Maurya dynasty. So the name of the book is Ashoka in Ancient India. So they can also ask the question like this. The book Ashoka in Ancient India has been written by which person? The answer remains Nayan Jyot Lahiri. For that, he has been bestowed upon the prize, very, very prestigious John F. Richards Prize. What is the theme of 2016 World Teachers Day? Please be careful in this question. They are not asking National Teacher Day, which we celebrate on 5th September in India. Okay, this is the birthday of Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, who was our second president after Dr. Rajinder Prasad and our first vice president. And he was a great literary person. Therefore, to commemorate him to... You know, in his honor, we celebrate National Teacher Day, that is on 5th September. But Teacher's Day around the globe is not celebrated on 5th September. It is celebrated on 5th October. So if they ask you National Teacher Day, 5th September, World Teacher Day, 5th October. They are asking what was the theme for this year's Teacher's Day, World Teacher's Day. It was valuing teachers and improving their status. Valuing teachers, improving their status. Which union ministry, which central government's ministry or organization has set up something known as public debt management cell. So this word debt, uh, this means what you owe to the other person and B, we don't pronounce B, it is silent. So it is written as debt, but it is pronounced as debt. So public debt management cell, which union ministry of organization has set up this uh, in New Delhi. It is set up by Ministry of Finance. So the answer is four, Ministry of Finance headed by Arun Jaitley. And uh, they will operate from RBI's Delhi office. The headquarter of Reserve Bank of India is in Mumbai, but they also have a Delhi office from where they will operate. Which Indian mountaineer, which Indian mountaineer has recently climbed the mountain Cho Oyu? Cho Oyu. See, Cho Oyu is a mountain which is located at the border of China and Tibet. It is a mountain located at the border of China and Tibet. And... Uh, it's a very, very tall mountain. It is not easy to climb Cho Oyu, but this person has done it. And this is a mountain which is sixth highest mountain in the world. The height of Cho Oyu is 8188 meter. So it's very, very high. And uh, this person is only 23 years old. His name is Arjun Vajpai. Arjun Vajpai. Very, very important. Who will become the new Secretary General of United Nations? This is a short, short question. So right now, the General of United Nations is Ban Ki-moon. He is from South Korea, but in 2017, he will vacate and his place will be taken up by Antonio Guterres. Antonio Guterres is the ex 
head of state of Portugal. He is the former prime minister of Portugal. He will become the ninth secretary general of United Nations. The 2016 World Sustainable Development Summit has started in which city of India? Everybody wants sustainable development. There is no use of having a you know very low GDP is to debt ratio. That is counterproductive. You can have all the debt, you can build GDP, but your GDP debt ratio is a real uh, you know parameter to judge the actual growth. So sustainable development is the key for a better world. And recently, World Sustainable Development Summit took place in New Delhi. It was inaugurated by a person no less than the President of India, Pranam Mukherjee. And the theme for this year was People, Planet and Progress. Beyond 2015, I repeat the theme for this year's World Sustainable Development Summit was Beyond 2015, People, Planet and Progress. And by the way, this uh, Sustainable Summit was organized by TERI, T-E-R-I, TERI, which is the Energy and Research Institute, the Energy and Research Institute. Which of the following social networking websites has collaborated with the Election Commission of India in five states where elections will be held next year? So you know that where elections will be held. Elections will be held in five states, you know, like Uttar Pradesh, like Punjab, Goa, a lot of places elections will be take place next year. First, they will take place in these three states, UP, Punjab and Goa, and then they'll follow up with the others. So which social networking website will help Election Commission of India to spread awareness among the youth that, you know, it will motivate the people to vote, come and vote. So this is Facebook. By the way, let me tell you two, three questions which are asked about Facebook in exams. The CEO of Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook is a company from United States of America. CEO is Mark Zuckerberg. They also ask who is the wife of Mark Zuckerberg. Her name is Priscilla Chen. She is a doctor. Priscilla Chen. And Priscilla Chen is a Chinese person. In fact, even Mark Zuckerberg speaks Chinese now because of his wife. And uh, together they have launched something which is known as Chen Zuckerberg Initiative. And this question will surely be asked. And they have pledged 3 billion US dollars for research on diseases. They want all the diseases to be eliminated from the planet by 2030. So for that, they have launched Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. They have committed 3 billion US dollar to their own foundation, Chan, Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. By the way, they also asked who is the COO or Chief Operating Officer of Facebook. So her name is Sheryl Sandberg. And by the way, Sheryl Sandberg is one of the most powerful women in the world. Sheryl Sandberg, she is the Chief Operating Officer of Facebook. Which country has appointed former NESCOM chairman, Mr. B.B.R. Mohan Reddy, okay, Mr. B.B.R. Mohan Reddy as an honorary consul, uh, you know, in Hyderabad. So, Mr. B.B.R. Mohan Reddy, who is a former NESCOM chairman, has been appointed as an honorary consul of which country? This country is Germany, the capital of Germany is Berlin and the head of state or chancellor is Angela Merkel. By the way, uh, Germany-India relations are improving uh, and... Uh, uh, they are very professional in nature, so to say. And Germany uh, and India, the relations will be further uh, boosted by BVR Mohan Reddy. His job is to strengthen the ties, economic ties, especially between India and Germany. Who has won the girls under 16 championship? This was for chess. World Youth Chess Championship, under 16 in Russia. The championship took place in Russia. So under 16, that means we have a prodigy on our hands, Akansha Hagawane. Akansha Hagawane, very, very important. And all these three are very famous uh, chess players. Tanya Sachdev, Krutika Nadik and Koneri Hampu. Koneri, um, you know, Koneru Hampi. By the way, Krutika Nadik has, uh, she's not active in chess these days. Koneru Hampi is of course active and Tanya Sachdev is also active. Our union cabinet recently approved setting up of a medical devices manufacturing park. Basically, it is a manufacturing park for medical devices, in short called Medipark. So at which place in Tamil Nadu it will be set up? It will be set up in Tamil Nadu as approved by our central government. But where? Which place? So it is, the place is near Chennai. The name is Changalpattu. Changalpattu is name of the place where this Medipark will be set up. It will be set up at a, you know, in an area of 330 acres. So it's a big park uh, near Chennai at Changalpattu in Tamil Nadu. Which of the following person, who of the following was conferred with a Sangeet Natak Academy fellow called Academy Ratna by President Pranam Mukherjee. Sangeet Natak Academy is one of our most prestigious organization. 
and they gave Academy Ratna or the Sangeet Natak Academy Fellow Award. It was given by again our president Pranab Mukherjee. So who has got this award? His name is Mr. C. V. Chandrasekhar. Mr. C. V. Chandrasekhar, very eminent personality. Who won the two thousand? Who won the two thousand sixteen Shinhan Donghai Open Golf Tournament? This tournament took place in South Korea. They can also ask who won the South Korea Open Golf Tournament. Answer remains the same. Gaganjit Bhullar. Gaganjit Bhullar. And there are a lot of terms in uh, you know golf which you should know. Put uh, eagle. You know, put eagle, then par. These terms are very frequently asked in exams. Name the committee which has been set up for studying Kaveri Basin. So there is a water war going on between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. So Karnataka, uh, the Kaveri River takes its origin from Karnataka. It goes towards Tamil Nadu, and Tamil Nadu often accuses Karnataka of holding water and not re releasing water, and thereby. Uh, Tamil Nadu is affected because of not releasing of Kaveri water. So there is a committee which is being set up to look into this matter and uh, give recommendation. The name of the committee is G S Jha committee. By the way, you should know he is a very important person, G S Jha, because he is the chairman of C W C Central Water Commission. Central Water Commission chairman G S Jha under his leadership a committee has been set up. Let me tell you one more thing about Kaveri. Kaveri is called Ganga of the South. It is called Ganga of South India because Kaveri is the only river in Peninsular India or South India which has water throughout the year. The maximum quantity of water is in Kaveri. However, the length uh, is not in Kaveri. The longest length in South India is of Godavari, but Kaveri has water throughout. Whereas Godavari dries up during uh, during off season, but Kaveri has water throughout the year. It is called Ganga of South. Who is the former chairman of Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO)? who was recently inducted into the 2016 IAF Hall of Fame now IAF is not indian air force it is international aeronautical federation international aeronautical federation has uh, incorporated or inducted former isro chairman recently into hall of fame very very prestigious uh, thing to happen to a person his name is mr udupi ramachandra rao he is a former chairman of isro the headquarter of isro is in bengaluru that is why bengaluru is also called space city and bengaluru is also called science city because indian institute of science is also in bengaluru and by the way present at present the chairman of isro is as kiran kumar next question which country became the first country in the world to ban disposable plastic cups and plates the first country in the world to ban disposable plastic cups and plates it is france india should also follow suit because we are also troubled by disposable plastic cups and plates which bank or organization has launched a selfie pay app called identity check so it is very very simple basically you open the app and the verification will be done by your selfie you take a selfie they will uh, check your face verify your face so it is a selfie pay it's a, basically the selfie will be used as an authentication it has been launched by mastercard very very important mastercard and in 2017 it will be across the globe they will launch it across the globe mastercard Italian motorcycle company which is called Ducati Italian motorcycle company Ducati has signed a pact with which bank to provide retail finance to customers in India So Italian motorcycle company Ducati has signed a pact with which bank to provide retail finance um, Italian uh, Italian vehicle companies like Ferrari Fiat Ducati they are quite popular Ducati is a motorcycle company and it has signed a agreement with Yes Bank so if you want to buy Ducati in India you can get easy loans from yes bank interpol and world anti doping agency interpol and world anti doping agency which is called wada what is doping when the you know when the athletes take drugs to enhance their performance that is called doping so it is illegal and unethical in sports and to check it world anti doping agency has launched a project what is the name of the project and this project has been launched in association with interpol the name of the project is project anarjia project anarjia and by the way the headquarter of world anti doping is world anti doping agency is in montreal montreal is a beautiful city in canada the capital of canada is ottawa but there is a very important city called montreal in canada where the headquarter of world anti doping agency lies next question world's largest balloon festival is being organized in which place world's largest balloon festival 
so basically there are lot of large you know hot balloons which are which uh, are seen by tourists you know they are used for voyage also and this festival is called albuquerque festival albuquerque festival balloon festival it is world's largest balloon festival it it started from 1st of october it started in new mexico which is in united states of america i am not saying mexico i am saying new mexico it is a part of united states of america and it was the 45th Albuquerque, albuquerque balloon festival which of the following state has topped in urban reforms under atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation is called amrut scheme it was basically to rejuvenate and uh, you know uh, replan our cities and very very hit scheme so uh, which state for the year 2015 2016 has best implemented this scheme this uh, scheme has been best implemented in tamil nadu super important question tamil nadu got this distinction and uh, in union territories chandigarh chandigarh has best implemented in union territories tamil nadu in in terms of states name the person who has become the first indian this person has become the first indian to complete world's toughest race it is called the spartathlon the spartathlon it is the world's toughest race in fact you need to run around 250 kilometers in this race and this person has completed this race in around 33 hours if i am not wrong uh, in 33 hours only the name of this person is kiran disuza one of the toughest races in fact it is called world's toughest race the spartathlon and kiran disuza has successfully completed this race is from sparta sparta is a town in greece and athens which is the capital of greece so this race takes place in greece sparta to athens who has been crowned as mrs india earth pay attention it is not miss india it is mrs india so married women take part in this and she is 29 years old her name is parinit garewal parinit garewal has been crowned she belongs uh, she hails from pune and uh, she is an indian she has been crowned mrs india earth researchers of which country have unearthed world's largest dinosaur footprint that is nearly a size of a full grown man so researchers of which country they have uh, found the fossil of a dinosaur which is the you know it is the very very large fossil it is world's largest dinosaur fossil and it is almost a size of man so which country's researchers have done this it is mongolian researchers mongolian scientists mongolia is a country in asia between russia and china and mongolia capital is ulaanbaatar and mongolia is the place from where chengiz khan uh, you know the great ruler Genghis Khan and all these were from Mongolia and uh, Mongolia has a very famous desert also which is called Gobi desert it is a cold desert next question which country's prime minister recently visited india from 3rd of october to 7th of october it was a five day visit to strengthen the ties between the two countries he is that prime minister he is the prime minister of singapore and they will also ask you what is his name his name is lee sian lung Lee Sian Lung. He is the Prime Minister of, uh, you know, uh, Singapore, and he he visited India for five days. SEBI, which is the market regulator, mutual fund regulator, also SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India, it has exempted, it has exempted the central government from making an open offer to the public shareholders of which bank. It has exempted our central government from making an open offer to the public shareholders of which bank. So. sebi has exempted uh, you know the government from making an open offer to indian overseas bank indian overseas bank shareholders and uh, this is basically for uh, capital infusion into the public sector uh, bank which is which is the indian overseas bank and uh, now the government stake will increase by more than 5% in indian overseas bank so all this uh, information is extremely important for you the pakistan electronic media regulatory authority which decides which channels to telecast on their national television network so the pakistan electronic media regulatory authority it has announced a ban on which countries tv channels from october 1 which countries channels will not be shown in pakistan now probably because pakistan hates the truth this country is of course india so all the indian news channels all the indian channels have been banned from pakistan television on october the 1st China blocked a tributary of which river in Tibet as part of the construction of its most expensive hydro power project. 
so you know that china has uh, illegally annexed tibet and uh, from tibet one of the rivers it takes its origin from kalash mansarovar near kalash mountains the river is called tosangpo and its indian name is brahmaputra so they they blocked a tributary of brahmaputra to build the most expensive hydro project this will definitely affect the supply of uh, water in india because india receives its one third fresh water supply from tibet tibetan plateau and if china keeps on blocking tributary one after the other we might be having a severe water shortage in the years to come and brahmaputra is a very important river for india it comes from china downstream to india it enters arunachal pradesh and then enters assam then goes to bangladesh where it merges with uh, ganga to form meghna which uh, which uh, drowns in the uh, which meets in the bay of bengal so that is the tributary which they have blocked on october 1st prime minister narendra modi greeted india on the occasion of the birthday of which famous indian hindu ruler which famous indian hindu ruler his name is maharaja agrasen maharaja agrasen and uh, his birthday his uh, jayanti or birth anniversary was celebrated this year on october the 1st although every year it is not celebrated on october the 1st uh, it varies from year to year so um, it is observed on the fourth day of hindu calendars ashwin month hindu calendars ashwin month on october 1 which hurricane came and uh, it was uh, it was categorized as a category 5 storm one of the deadliest storm it has killed more than 1000 people uh, last heard so its name was matthew it uh, its direction was from pacific ocean to atlantic ocean and it hit the countries that face westwards uh, on the southern american continent that is colombia cuba all these countries project matthew very very deadly name the brigadier who was shifted to the northern command at udhampur in jammu and kashmir after the uri attacks to strengthen the uh, to strengthen and strategize indian army proceedings so who was that brigadier who was shifted to northern command at udhampur his name is k soma shankar this was done in the aftermath of the uri attacks which states high court has uh, initially scrapped alcohol prohibition recently the chief minister of this state nitish kumar had alcohol prohibition law that is it banned alcohol throughout the state but patna high court uh, reversed the decision but then they reversed their own decision which means they again allowed the allowed the government on 2nd of october to ban alcohol so the answer is bihar so i'll tell you what happened initially nitish kumar banned alcohol then patna high court said that unban alcohol banning alcohol is illegal then they re- they realized they made a mistake so patna high court reversed their decision and after that nitish kumar made a even stronger law and banned alcohol again so it was done by patna high court in bihar on 30th of september nasa it spotted first ever gamma ray binary in neighbor galaxy using which gamma ray telescope so the galaxy in which we live it is called milky way it is made up of millions and billions of stars uncountable stars and the galaxy which is nearest to milky way it is called andromeda andromeda is our nearest neighbor uh, in terms of galaxy and nasa recently spotted first ever gamma ray binary using which uh, telescope it is fermi gamma ray space telescope second question for you for today fermi is a unit of what fermi is a unit for measuring what which bank has acquired bss microfinance bss microfinance it has been acquired by which bank so this is a question from merger and acquisition it is kotak mahindra bank kotak mahindra has acquired almost 99.5% of this bank for 140 crore rupees bss microfinance which country has postponed 2016 sark summit there is a beautiful video on sark summit by our faculty rohit das sark is uh, south asian association for regional cooperation and india backed out of the meeting in the aftermath of the uri attack and india was supported by four other countries so sark has become a farce and this country is of course is uh, pakistan sark summit was scheduled to happen scheduled to take place in islamabad but now they have postponed and they will be also forced to cancel it on september 30th which country confirmed its first zika case so zika virus is there and this virus is spread by a mosquito which is called aedes aegypti 
please note that Aedes aegypti is the same mosquito that uh, spreads the dengue virus also that spreads dengue so zika virus and dengue both are spread by same mosquito Aedes aegypti which is the carrier of the dangerous virus zika case was recently reported in thailand in bangkok and it is uh, it was the first case reported in Asia, in, in thailand so even asia is not aloof from the threat of zika virus how many q sacks of water has the supreme court of india ordered karnataka to release to tamil nadu from october 1 to october 6 so as you know as i told you kaveri water dispute is there between karnataka and tamil nadu so supreme court intervened in this matter and it ordered karnataka to release 6000 q sack of water to tamil nadu uh, from october 1 to 6 this order was initially uh, karnataka was skeptical but after supreme court uh, was strict then karnataka was forced to release 6000 q sack of water on September 30th, scientists have designed a new generation of, uh, you know, new generation vaccine for one of the diseases which can prevent thousands and hundreds and millions of people from uh, getting killed by this disease. What is the name of this disease for which a new generation of universal vaccines have been uh, devised by scientists? This is flu. Flu in uh, medicine, it is also called influenza. And although it is not very dangerous, but without medicine, it can become dangerous. So influenza is your common cold. And let me tell you, uh, influenza is of many type. Like you have avian influenza, which is called bird flu. You have swine flu. So even flu is of many types. Who is the current chairman of State Bank of India who has been given an extension recently? She is one of the most powerful lady in the world. One of the most powerful lady in the business sector uh, in the world, in the fin finance and technology space. And she has been given extension. Why she has been given an extension? Because the State Bank of India is merging with six other banks. That is Bharti Mahila Bank and five associate banks. So to oversee that, they want that this merger should take place in her, her able leadership. That is why she has been given an extension. Her name is Arundhati Bhattacharya. Which currency? Which currency has joined the elite group of reserve currencies created by the International Monetary Fund? The headquarter of International Monetary Fund is in Washington DC, which is the capital of United States of America. By the way, the World Bank headquarter is also very near to it, also in Washington DC. And please note that IMF and World Bank, together they are called Bretton Woods Twins. This question has been repeated countless times. Bretton Woods Twins are, they are twins basically, World Bank and IMF. The purpose of uh, creation of both of them, them however, was different. World Bank was created to help the poor countries to eliminate poverty, etc. throughout the world. IMF was uh, for inter-European cooperation and, uh, you know, having more economic growth among the European countries, more cooperation among the European countries. So which currency has joined the elite group of reserve currencies? There is something known as elite group of reserve currencies and recently the currency of China, which is Yuan, has joined this. Let me tell you something which you get confused often. So the currency of China is Yuan or Regminbi. You can also find in options B. Don't confuse it with Yen. Yen is the currency of Japan. And also don't confuse it with Won. W-O-N. Won is the currency of North and South Korea. So please be careful when you attempt the questions. So the great actor Prabhas, Bahubali actor Prabhas, recently his wax figure, his wax statue was made at Madame Tussau. Which Madame Tussau? Madame Tussau... Previously, it was only in one country in London, but now it is in many country. They have opened their branches in many country, Madame Tussau, Bangkok. So Prabhas wax statue is now at Madame Tussau, Bangkok. Tuffy, Tuffy is world's largest rab fringe limbed tree frog. You can see the photo, you can see the webbed feet here. The name of this frog was Tuffy and he was also one of the most popular frogs in the world that attracted a huge tourist attra attraction. Where he, did he die? This frog died in Atlanta Botanical Garden in United States of America. Mount Kolima, it is located in which country? Mount Kolima is located in which country? Why I am asking Mount Kolima only? Because Mount Kolima is an active volcano and recently uh, it uh, got burst. This volcano erupted. So Mount Kolima, you should know which country it is located in. It is located in Mexico. Mexico is located in North American continent. Mexico's capital is Mexico City. When do we celebrate International Day of Older Persons? So I've already covered this in a separate question where the theme was, uh, you know, for uh, to, to take action against aging. And this day is celebrated on October the 1st. First day was celebrated on 1990. 
first international day of older person was celebrated in 1990 by united nation and since then it has been it is being celebrated every year on october the first and the theme was let's take a stand against ageism which cities police they have launched a mobile app, app for senior citizens and now senior citizens can use this app to reach out to police instantly in emergency situation which cities police have launched this mobile app it is done by delhi police and it was launched by the constitutional head of delhi who is who is lieutenant J uh, governor najib jang mahatma gandhi recently uh, you know india celebrated mahatma gandhi's which birth anniversary so there are there were two birth anniversaries we celebrated 102nd birth anniversary of lal bahadur shastri but we celebrated 147th birth anniversary of father of the nation mahatma gandhi on october 1st our central union ministry finance ministry of finance it has decided that which sector will be given infrastructure status this will help to you know enhance manufacturing and other uh, revenue in this sector growth in this sector for that it has been given infrastructure status this is our sport sector sports heavyweight champion tyson fury he is a world champion and uh, very very important uh, boxer i am talking about boxing he is a boxing world champion and uh, he beat uh, Klitschko last year. If you are a boxing fan, you will know this. He beat uh, Vladimir Klitschko of Russia last year. But he was caught taking drugs. And this really shook the boxing world because boxing is one sport where you will not find a lot of athletes being banned for taking drugs. But Tyson Fury was uh, banned for taking drugs. Now the question is, uh, he tested positive for which substance? So basically, which drugs did he take? He is WBA and WBO world champion. He took cocaine cocaine who won the 2016 wuhan open in doubles category wuhan open is a tournament for tennis it was won by bethany metek sands and lucy safarova and this question is important because they beat indian sanya mirza and her partner barbara strykova by the way barbara strykova is from czech republic and she has replaced uh, sanya mirza's partner martina hingas sanya mirza and martina hingas broke their very very successful partnership for some reason so, uh, and Martina Hingis was from Switzerland, but Barbara Strykova is from Czech Republic. And who won the 2016 Wuhan Open in singles category? In singles category, it was won by Petra Kavitova. Petra Kavitova, this is extremely important. And she beat world number one player Angeline Kerber. She beat Angeline Kerber in final. Which company has announced the launch of Scava Commerce? Scava Commerce is basically an e-commerce platform. It has been launched by the second biggest IT company, information technology company in India, Infosys. The government's fiscal deficit in the first five months of 2016, I am talking about fiscal year, norm, norm, not normal year. So you know that our fiscal starts from 1st of April. So 1st April 2016 to 1st September 2016, that is April, May, June, July and August. These five months, how much was our fiscal deficit as a percentage? So it was 76 point. 76.4% of the budget estimate so that is the answer and our fiscal deficit in terms of rupees was 4.1 lakh crore rupees so we really need to decrease our fiscal deficit which bank has announced the launch of a special financing scheme called hope loans special financing scheme called hope loans so which ba bank has announced it it has been announced by our largest bank in India which is state bank of India which company has backed the best exchange of the year in the bullion industry at the 9th International Gold Summit and Excellence Awards? Which is our best exchange in terms of which was awarded uh, best exchange of the year in bullion industry awarded at the 9th International Gold Summit? It was also our first exchange to get an IPO. Now, can you attempt this question? Yes, Multi Commodities Exchange, MCX. Multi Commodities Exchange. It was also the first exchange in India to have IPO. Our oldest exchange is Bombay Stock Exchange and our largest exchange in terms of number of companies and revenue is National Stock Exchange. Bombay Stock Exchange is oldest in India also and in Asia also. And Bombay Stock Exchange is second exchange to get IPO after MCX. Britain will... Uh, Britain, I am talking about Brexit. Brexit is exit of Britain from Europe. That is called Brexit. So Britain will officially complete the exit from britain by what which by 2017 which month so the deadline is 31st march 2017 
so they will complete their formal you know leaving of european union by march 2017 as announced by the prime minister of britain theresa may this question is also very important who is the prime minister of britain the answer is theresa may which country has rejected i repeat which country has rejected a peace deal to end 52 years of war with farc guerrillas this country has been going on a you know a kind of a civil war with for, for almost five decades even longer than five decades 52 years with farc guerrilla the answer is colombia colombia capital is bogota south american country and colombia also has a very important city called medellin the great drug lord pablo escobar was also from colombia which country's ngo has won this year's un climate award which country's ngo has won united nations climate award for this year it is it has been won by an indian ngo yes it has been won by an indian ngo the name of this ngo is swayam shiksham prayog which means self education scheme you know swayam shiksham prayog so this is an ngo from india mohammed bin zayed al nahyan he is the crown prince of which country super important question and please mark this name up because he is our chief guest for 26 january 2017 he is the crown prince of united arab emirates the capital of uae is abu dhabi abu dhabi middle east so mohammed bin zayed al nahyan is the crown prince of uae and he will our chief be our chief guest on 26th of jan 2017 which political parties leaders have launched a new all india political party which is called swaraj india swaraj india or swaraj abhiyan this has been launched by yogendra yadav and prashant bhushan they were thrown out of aam aadmi party now third question for you and the most important one which party which state party recently got national party status from election commission of india i repeat the question which state party recently got a national party status from election commission of india which film has won the award for best film which film has won the award for best film at the swachh bharat short film festival the name of the film is murga and it is uh, its director is mr katyayan katyayan shivpuri these are the only two things that you need to know the name of the uh, film is murga and the director is katyayan shivpuri which states information technology minister has recently won the global champion of digital literacy award which was awarded by certiport which states it minister has won the global champion of digital literacy award he is also one of my favorites it minister he is son of chief minister but he could have taken any department but he took it this shows his confidence and i was very impressed by his speech to tim cook uh, you know and uh, his name is kt ramarao kt ramarao he is uh, uh, he is the Uh, it minister of telangana he is also the son of chief minister chandrashekhar rao telangana which country on october 2nd ratified the paris agreement on climate change and there was a lot of pressure on this country however initially this country had said that it will not ratify in 2016 but finally narendra modi took this decision and it is india india is the fourth biggest polluter of environment in the world number 1 and 2 are usa and china with 38% carbon emission number 3 is russia and number 4 is india these are the four biggest polluters russia is almost 7%, 7% china and america together are 38% india is almost 4% around little over 4% 4.1% so india has given its ratification to paris agreement 2015 cop 21 un by unfccc which state government on october the 2nd reimposed the liquor ban why reimposed previously they had imposed the liquor ban which was undone by the patna high court so this is bihar now nitesh kumar has made liquor ban even more strict who won the silver medal at the 2016 asian beach games these asian beach games are being held in vietnam so please note this is also a question in itself that where are the asian beach games being held they are being held in vietnam now now comes a real question which indian won the silver medal her name is her name is deepa gawale deepa gawale who won the 2016 malaysian grand prix so i already covered this daniel ricciardo and south korean open uh, i asked this question by a different name it is gaganjit bhullar so that just for your revision next question name the financial regulatory agency 
which has proposed rules norms to facilitate investment in overseas technology funds to facilitate to make easy investment in overseas technology funds which financial regulatory agency has done this this has been done by the central bank of india which is called reserve bank of india new governor urjit patel which state has launched a new economic development policy this is basically to boost the state's agriculture based economy and it will develop rural infrastructure and it will give new means of livelihood to the rural folklore so which state has launched a new economic development policy this is mizoram the capital of mizoram is aizwal who has been appointed as the chief financial officer of mintra so fourth question for you mintra was acquired by which e-commerce company i repeat mintra was acquired by which company uh, and the and chief financial officer of mintra is mr dipanjan basu dipanjan basu who has been appointed as the chairman and ceo of the jammu and kashmir bank again a question for a very important one who has been appointed as the chairman and ceo of jammu and kashmir bank it is mr parvez ahmed and who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of power finance corporation all of these are important psus uh, so public sector enterprises public sector undertaking that is why these questions are very very important and i am making a special effort to cover these question so for uh, power finance corporation it is mr rajiv sharma who will be the new chairman and managing director the central government has appointed a you know insolvency and bankruptcy board very very important the chairman of this board will be ms sahu extremely important insolvency and bankruptcy board how many members will be there in this board so including the chairman it will be four members i will make a special video if you want on insolvency and bankruptcy board if you want me to make a video on this please write in comments who won the nobel prize in physiology or medicine now let me tell you one or two important things about nobel prize number 1 to keep the name you know to memorize the names of nobel prize winner is extremely difficult you have to just mug up there is no option now nobel prize is given after uh, swedish scientist called alfred nobel the great scientist alfred nobel and uh, nobel prize is given by sweden but there is one nobel prize which is given by norway which is the peace prize all the nobel prize except peace prize are given by sweden but nobel peace prize is given by government of norway and nobel prize in physiology or medicine given by sweden to yoshinori oshumi who is a remarkable scientist from japan which country has suspended an agreement with united states i repeat which country has suspended an agreement with the united states on the disposing of weapons grade plutonium so plutonium thorium uranium these are all the elements from which nuclear energy is generated and nuclear bombs are made so to you know de escalate or to defuse the nuclear armament both of these countries decided that they will dispose weapons grade plutonium but russia recently withdrew from this treaty unilaterally withdrew from this agreement just like united states did on ballistic missile treaty unilaterally this is basically because the war in syria is never ending uh, the head of state of syria is mr assad russia is supporting assad america is opposite assad they both are having a proxy war in syria so either united states uh, should consider their defeat in aleppo or uh, you know uh, this war will never end and that is why their tensions between russia and uh, america they are increasing day by day so let's see uh, what will happen now but this is a very very important question in which country is the robot kirobo mini manufactured so this is a palm size robot very very small robot manufactured by toyota toyota is the number one company in the world uh, in vehicle when it comes to the sale of vehicle it sold more than 1 crore cars last year in 2015 it is by far the number one company in the world it is a japanese company the answer is japan which university has won a 750000 prize dollar prize from nasa for designing a sample retrieving robot which university designed a sample retrieving robot and won the nasa award so nasa's headquarters is also in washington dc the capital of america and it, this award was won by west virginia university west virginia university world's deepest railway station is being built in which country deepest railway station in the world it is being built in china in which year was world space week first observed world space week was basically to uh, commemorate the two biggest achievements uh, in uh, space voyage one is october 4 1957 sputnik 1 it uh, satellite 
and second was October 10, 1967. Uh, you know, so when the Outer Space Treaty was signed, and that is why we celebrate uh, World Space Week from 4th of October to 10th of October. And the answer to this question is the World Space Week was first celebrated in 1999. According to the World Bank, how many people are living in extreme poverty? That is less than less than two dollars, 1.90 dollar a day. So it was in 2013. Uh, and in 2012, it was 881 million people that is first, but they are asking in 2013. So the number of people who are living in extreme poverty reduced from 881 to 767. So the answer is 767 million. When is World Habitat Day observed? Habitat is basically our home and uh, you know that our ecosystem is damaging. So to celebrate, to you know, to spread awareness, to celebrate this day, World Habitat Day is observed every year on the first Monday of October. This time, first Monday of October fell on October the 3rd. Jawahar Sarkar, he very famous person, he was, uh, he recently resigned as the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of which Indian media company? This is the government media company, Prasar Bharti. Doordarshan Prasar Bharti, he was the CEO, he resigned recently. The Asian Development Bank has signed a risk transfer agreement with which country's international development agency? With which country's international development agency? Asian Development Bank has signed a risk transfer agreement. It, it, they have signed it with Sweden, Swedish International Development Agency. Asian Development Bank is a bank which is dominated by Japan. Its headquarter is in Manila, the capital of Philippines. Our central government has rejected a proposal to bring all companies with dash or more workers within the ambit of the EPFO. So this was a proposal that all the company who have more than 10 workers, they should be brought under provident fund organization. But government has rejected this idea. So the answer is 10, 10 or more workers. How much percent stake has RBL Bank acquired in Utkarsh Microfinance? How much stake? This is a question from financial awareness. RBL Bank has acquired 9.99, almost 10% stake in, in Utkarsh Microfinance. Name the scheme which has been launched by the central government for simplifying the process for incorporation of companies to improve the ease of doing business. So you know that in ease of doing business, we are far behind to, you know, to make us better on that front. The government has introduced a scheme which will simplify the process of in, for incorporation of companies. What is the name that has been given to this scheme? The name is SPICE. The name that has been given to it is SPICE. There is a full form of SPICE also. It is called simplified pro forma for incorporating a company electronically. In short, SPICE. How much money Asian Development Bank is giving to India as a loan for installation of energy efficient home and street lights and water pumps? So how much money Asian Development Bank is giving us for installation of energy efficient home and street lights and water pump? It is $200 million. $200 million. Who has been appointed as Chief Executive Officer of Reliance Nippon Life Insurance? Reliance Nippon Life Insurance, who is the Chief Executive Officer? It is Mr. Ashish Vohra. Ashish Vohra. And Reliance has recently entered into a partnership with the Salt Aviation. So here comes the question. Reliance Group has entered into a partnership with which aircraft manufacturing company? The answer is Dassault Aviation. Dassault Aviation makes Rafale fighter jets. And this is basically to execute 50% offset. So out of the around 58,000 crore, 29,000 crore, which is 50%, the Salt Aviation will have to invest in India and Reliance will be responsible for carrying out that offset clause. On October 3rd, State Bank of India became the first Indian bank to open a branch in which country? And State Bank of India, this is State Bank of India's 54th branch outside of India. So State Bank of India has become the first Indian bank to open a branch in Myanmar. Yes, Myanmar. Who won the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics? Nobel Prize in Physics. Again, an important question. Nobel Prize in Physics has been won by three people. David Thussell, Duncan Haldane and Michelle Corlett. So the answer is all of the above. All of the above. David Thuls, Duncan Haldane and Michael Kosselitz. Who has been elected as the President of Estonia? President of Estonia. Who has been elected? So the name is Kirsty Kaljulad. She is the first female president of Estonia. Kirsty Kaljulad. On October 5, which country scrapped 
deleted cancelled its emergency law which is the emergency provisions act of 1950 which country is this this is myanmar myanmar which international organization has approved the ratification of the paris climate deal which international organization has approved paris climate deal it is the european union so paris climate deal is very soon about to becoming an international law yusuf arakal yusuf arakal recently passed away he was a winner of lot of important uh, awards and he had lot of important awards uh, including the national award in 1983 and raja ravi varma puraskar in uh, 2013 he uh, was he belonged to which field so he was a artist on october 4 which country's prime minister arrived in new delhi on a three day visit which country's prime minister arrived in new delhi on three day visit please note he did not arrive on october 3 he arrived on october 4 on october 3 3 uh, the prime minister of singapore came and on october 4 prime minister of sri lanka came ranil vikram singhe name the indian filmmaker and elephant researcher so he is a wildlife activist also indian filmmaker also elephant researcher also he recently won an award called chevalier de l'ordre national du mérite so don't try to pronounce it i can speak french so i can pronounce it correctly chevalier de l'ordre national du mérite which is called knight in the national order of merit award it is one of the highest civilian recognition in the french government who won this award his name is prajna chota prajna chota name the minister who has launched the indian bridge management system indian bridge man management system it has been launched by our roadways transport minister nitin gadkari and indian bridge management system will help to maintain our bridges name the actress who has been nominated to the rajya sabha recently she is a bjp leader she is a actress she is rupa ganguly rupa ganguly and why we was she nominated to rajya sabha because navjot singh sidhu the cricketer uh, he left his rajya sabha seat he made his own party he quit bjp made his own party called awaaz e punjab and although he made his own party his party awaaz e punjab will not take part in punjab elections that is announced by navjot singh sidhu himself so his seat was given to rupa ganguly name the tennis player whose doping ban was reduced from 24 months to 15 months that is reduced by 9 months from 2 years to 15 months she is maria sharapova the tennis player from russia and she was banned for taking uh, drugs during her australian open uh, match so she was banned and now her ban has been reduced the international monetary fund has raised the projection for india's economic growth uh, to how much percent for 2016 and 2017 in both the years india's economic growth will be 7.6% that is in fiscal 2016 and fiscal 2017 India will grow by India's economy will grow 7.6 percent as per International Monetary Fund. And according to the latest report, South Asia Economic Focus, this is by World Bank. According to World Bank, what will be India's GDP growth in 2017? So in 2016, it will be 7.6 percent, but they are asking in 2017, it is 7.7 percent. So the answer is 7.7 percent. now on october the 4th we had the first monetary policy by our new governor urjit patel and this monetary policy was given by monetary policy committee which has six members three from the reserve bank of india and three from the government side and all the six members were in favor of a reducing repo rate because festival season is coming so so the government needs to push more money into the system so that people can uh, buy lot of uh, you know lot of gifts etc they can do lot of shopping on festival which will increase the spending and therefore increase the growth it might increase it might increase our inflation also but that is the risk with the government which the reserve bank of india has taken they have reduced the repo rate by from 6.5% to 6.25% that is they have reduced it by 25 basis points who won the 2016 nobel prize for chemistry so the nobel prize for chemistry was shared by three people it was shared by three people their name are jean pierre sauvage he is from france j fraser stoddart he is from britain and bernard faringa he is from netherland or holland so the answer is second you have to just mug up the names there is no escaping these questions which typhoon hit the southern part of south korea on october the 5th which typhoon hit the southern part of south korea so south korea and japan both were hit by chaba 
there are approximately how many lakh people living in india who are infected with human immunodeficiency virus hiv please note that anybody who suffers from hiv positive it is not like he has aids aids is the name given to the last stage when the patient there are very less survival chances that then we call him aids the last end stage but initially the patient is called hiv positive how many hiv positive people are there in india hiv is spread by three routes only one is unsafe sex second is from mother to the child infected mother to the child that is vertical transmission and third is sharing of syringes so there are 21 lakh people in india suffered from who are suffering from hiv disease well, who is the author of the book there is a new book which salutes modi's foreign policy so i don't agree with this because india's foreign policy with respect to some countries it has been good with respect to pakistan it has been inconsistent uh, but with respect to nepal it has been inconsistent with respect to sri lanka it has been inconsistent but with respect to usa and middle east it has been very good so, but this author does not uh, believe so as per uh, him modi's midas touch in foreign policy which means modi has been excellent in his foreign policy who wrote, has written this book this book has been written by former indian diplomat surender kumar India's latest communication satellite, which is called GSAT-18, it has been successfully launched from where? It has been launched from Kuru in French Guinea. French Guinea, Kuru. The United Nations ha have uh, unveiled a postage stamp to honor which Indian singer? She was a great singer, Bharat Ratna winner. And basically, uh, primarily she used to sing in Kannada language. She was from Karnataka, but she has sung songs in many other languages also. Her name is M.S. Subalakshmi. Which country has been banned from 2016 Kabaddi World Cup? First thing, Kabaddi World Cup is taking place in India. And first time, entry is United States of America. But the country which has been banned is Pakistan. Pakistan. When the relations between India and Pakistan are at the nadir, at an all-time low, there is no point playing cricket and Kabaddi. The Indian Economic Summit, it recently has begun in which city? India Economic Summit, it has begun in New Delhi. The Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICCI, FICCI has entered into a partnership with which company to launch Millennium Alliance Initiative or MAI. Millennium Alliance Initiative, FICCI will launch it in association with Facebook. Facebook. Which electronics manufacturing company has acquired open artificial intelligence platform developer called Viv? So which company has bought artificial intelligence company called Viv? This is a South Korean company called Samsung. Samsung, LG, Hyundai, these are all South Korean companies. Which minister has set up a public debt management cell to streamline government borrowings and better cash management? So this was done by which minister? It was done by the Ministry of Finance. Who has been appointed as the director of Central Board of Direct Taxes called CBDT? who has been appointed as chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes, very, very important person, very important appointment, Mr. Sushil Chandra. Sushil Chandra. So these were the best and most amazing questions from this week. As you can see by the quality of questions, it is amazing. And I expect at least 10 questions from this one video itself. I have covered it exhaustively, nowhere on internet. Whether it's any YouTube channel or website, you will find these many questions from just one week. I have covered 133 questions. And all of these questions are there on our website. You can download the PDFs or if you want, you can download from Google Drive. The link is on my Facebook page. Don't miss anything. English video, I take double effort to bring to you. So please share it with your friends and encourage me. Thank you very much.